Hey, this is Alan Seaborn. Thanks for joining us for sermon-based small groups. Today our text is from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2, Paul writes, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. And in those few lines, Paul gives some really deep and practical advice on what it looks like uh, to live in right relationship with one another. And so this past Sunday and Monday, we talked about what it looks like to be completely humble. We talked about how in those moments where we make a mistake and where something of ourselves, a flaw is exposed, how kind of the last thing that we want to do is respond with humility. It's really natural to lash out, to point the blame in a different direction than allowing it to kind of rest on us. But what Paul and what God is asking us to do is to live in that humility. And he goes on, be completely humble and gentle. We talked a little bit about how gentleness isn't something that we really intentionally train ourselves to do. How we feel like that's going to mean we're going to get walked all over if we're too passive, we're not going to get any advantage for ourselves. And so we talked about how quick we can sometimes go for our advantage over somebody else's. I told the story about this little Jason Kidd rookie card. And if you were in service, you probably remember it. If not, maybe someone in your small group will catch you up on the story behind this card. But how when we're thinking of ourselves, we do damage to the relationships in our lives. Paul goes on, he talks about being patient. And I shared a little bit from uh, my own journey with my wife and I as we figure out what it looks like to be patient with one another and how we bear with one another in love. How those, both of those ideas really contain within them the idea that things aren't always going our way. And that's really the foundation of what being in relationship with other people is all about. That things aren't going to go our way and we need to figure it out. And being patient and bearing with one another in love in the midst of that really paves the way for staying in right relationship even when things aren't going perfectly smoothly. So I talked a little bit about how my wife and I figured that out how we realize that in moments of conflict and confrontation, my family history is kind of over here. We deal with conflict, we love it. We want to deal with it and just get it out in the open and move on. Her family history is a little bit more geared toward peacemaking. And so when we actually have conflict in our relationship, I want to confront it and she wants to move past it as quickly as possible. We figure out how to bear with one another in love. And when we see things from each other's perspective, when we do that, not just in our marriages, our relationships with our kids or our parents or coworkers, our neighbors, classmates, all that stuff, it brings a whole new fresh perspective to the way that we love each other as we bear with one another when things aren't going the way that we would picture them going in a perfect world. And that's what we talked about, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. All right, so the first question for today, what does it mean to be humble? Question number two, how would you describe gentleness? Question number three, how does the world value the traits of humility and gentleness? Question four, what tries your patience? Question five, what does bearing with one another in love mean? Question 
Thanks for joining us for Sermon-Based Small Groups. We'll see you next week.